Introducing Kubota's magnificent M-Series lineup, a most versatile range of tractors available, a big range with big numbers and savings to match. There's an M-Series tractor that's right for you. Available now. Speak to your local Kubota dealer today or visit kubota.com.au. Across SEN track, it's time to hear from the leading tipsters across chasing, pacing and racing with the Early Crow. Yes, the early crow for us on this uh, Thursday morning, about to launch into Newcastle, Pakenham tonight in Victoria, Ipswich as well. I mentioned earlier about far too easy, the country championship uh, favourite at this stage for a couple of weeks at Ramwick. Well, the uh, wild card, the last chance for the New Haven Park Country Championship horses uh, goes to Scone on Sunday. It's a field of 14 plus six emergencies. Uh, Blitzar's travelling up from Wagga. Uh, it's drawn barrier two. Blue Missile, 10. Bobbing is there to resume after a long break from racing barrier 12. Uh, we've also got Terry Robinson heading that way with So, so, you, so you Say at uh, barrier eight. Ren's Day, barrier six. And uh, down the bottom, Patino Ruby's there. And Par Avion. For Terry Evans, who ran a, a good race there a couple of runs ago, it's drawn wide in 18. So it's a field, as I say, 14 plus six emergencies. It's the New Haven Park Country Championship wild card. It'll be race seven on Sunday at a quarter to five local time. So Nick Burney is joining us to have a chat about Newcastle today. Welcome, Nick, from Racing New South Wales. Hi, Andrew. How are you going today? I'm going well, and uh, this is another day there, isn't it, at Newcastle? Soft five at this stage after a couple of mil, but an exciting uh, qualifier for the uh, Polytrack Provincial Midway Series. Yeah, it's uh, as the series goes on, and I think it's just another great day of racing on a fantastic drying track, and we have nine races with a transferred race from the Kensington yesterday, so... Plenty of races to bet and get involved in. Yeah, just uh, be aware that race nine at five past six local time tonight was uh, added from yesterday's uh, card and uh, no surprise given uh, the importance of these. So well done to people that have organised that. So we're looking at race seven, this qualifier over the 1,400 metres and one of your best bets comes up here. Yeah, the best bets in race seven, number three, never talk. She's just been a victim of getting way too far back in classically run races. The both starts this preparation. And she's been actually running very fast closing sectionals with that being the second fastest of the entire meeting. She gets in well at the weights under the race condition. And through her ratings profile, she has peak figures third up that line up well relative to her opposition. I think there's a more genuine tempo today. We can see the best of her with James McDonald on. She can settle closer and spin over the top of them. So race seven, number three, never talk. $2.80 at Bet365 at the moment. May Rose is at three sixty, and Daphne Jean, $8. And then it's Sammy at 9 and Petronius at 10 They're the ones in the market. But never talk, one of uh, Nick's best. Your each wire comes uh, today in race five. Yeah, race five, number nine, Choi de la Mer. She just had no luck at Wyong first up when she was severely checked and blocked at a critical stage. I thought the filly picked herself back up really well and was strong past the post. When you compare time class and other factors, I actually rated that race the highest overall relative to the meeting. And she has that beautiful natural gait speed. And I think she can go forward and be given every chance today on an each-way basis. Um, there is a lot of a few first starters that have tried well, but um, again, just on my prices, she's value. And I think on an each-way basis, as I said, is a, a, a good bet. Well, there's three at the $5.50. Your tip, Sabino and Bionic. And then uh, you get to $3.20 is favourite down here. Show high for Hawks Racing, number 12. But each way. So the best is race seven, number three, never talk. And the each way are race five, number nine. Let's look at the quaddy here, mate. Uh, beginning with race six. And we've got a, a short price favourite here. Yeah, just um, leg one, we'll just go Com Commander Rosa. Um, this race actually changed complexion a lot this morning. A lot of pace has been taken out of it. I think she can just settle close enough and use a customary turn of foot to sprint over the top of them. In leg two, we go uh, numbers three, four and nine, which is the Polytrack Provincial Series race. I have added a May, May Rose who's flying. And I've also put in Sammy. Um, he just has a sense of timing mm. about him and he will settle closer 
in the map today um, relative to the other two. And then we go to race eight, which is a bit wider, two, three, eight, and 11. Ready available is my top pick there. She gets the significant barrier change, and I think just can settle closer with the drying track suiting. And then in the last, we go numbers, no, sorry, leg four, numbers two, 10, and 11. With the lightly raced improvers, and Ocean Shores is the main type that I think is improving on that upwards rating spiral for a uh, total of 36 combinations. Okay, so Ocean Shores there, $3 and favourite at this stage in that race. So race six on this nine race card, race six, number 12, solo. The second leg, we're going three, four, and nine. Uh, the third leg, three on top, and you can include two, eight, and 11. And then the last, we're going 10 on top, others to include 2 and 11. So that's the quaddy for Newcastle this afternoon. Uh, the first race at one fifteen local time. We're on a soft five officially at the moment, but the weather won't be too bad at all. Thanks a lot, Nick. Go and enjoy your day. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Have a good week. Okay, that is uh, Nick Burney joining us there with the very latest on Newcastle today. Peter Ellis. Uh, is about to uh, join us. So Nick Lloyd is online. Hello, Nick. Hello, Andrew. How are you this morning? I'm well. So you're doing Ipswich today. Uh, how's the weather looking for this eight-race card? Yeah, it's a nice day on the uh, southeast this morning. So uh, hopefully we we get through a Queensland meeting. That'd be a, a nice start. But yeah, we've got a good four. The weather's fine and the rail's out two metres for the entire course. So it should be a pretty uh, good afternoon of racing. Well, they've come back from uh, heavies and storms and everything around Ipswich. So to get on a good four with fine weather, I think everyone will be happy. I think so, yeah. So it's actually not a bad card as well. There's a few decent sort of horses getting around and um, biggish fields as well for a Thursday, given that there's plenty of um, racing down this way over the weekend. So good to see it hasn't fallen away to you know six and seven horse fields all afternoon all right where do we go for the uh, first of nick lloyd's best um we're going to just stick to the first two races this afternoon andrew so the first one comes up in race one horse two Kaloon gem uh for glenn thornton and ben thompson uh four-year-old gelding by fastnet rock only had the two starts it, it didn't beat a runner home on debut at ipswich over the 1350 um, got beat 10 lengths by a Canadian dancer who could be potentially on a Queensland Oaks path uh, for the Steve O'Day and Matt Hoisted stable. But uh, it's next start on the poly track on the 2nd of March at the Sunny Coast there. Stepped out to the 1600. There was a bit of money for it too. It was $61 into $26. And it really hit the line well behind Summer Breeze, who was a short price favourite. Went past Laura Enzo, who is a bit of a non-winner. It's had plenty of starts for plenty of runner-up performances. So... I think the format of that race won't be too bad. It, it gets back to uh, to Ipswich, Ipswich where it's had a run before. Uh, ben Thompson stays on and it goes out to the 1660 as well this afternoon. So if it can re uh, repeat its last run at the mile, it can be very hard to beat today. And uh, currently at a price of $2.30, Kowloon Gem, race one, number two. Who do you like in race two? Uh, one that's oh, she showed plenty of ability early on in Minji for Rob Heathcote and James Orman. The, the Heathcote stable's flying at the moment. They had a, a very good day on Saturday, and I, I think I saw a couple of winners yesterday at Eagle Farm as well. But look, Minji, she's four year old. She, she's only won the two races from 17 starts, but she's just been knocking on the door this preparation. She went around in that uh, really quality class three at Doomben on Boxing Day behind Mass Destruction and Boom Nova. We've seen Paladas come out of that race and win. Um, then went to Doomben again behind Zakina and Bafana, another couple of subsequent winners. Zakina's off to the uh, the country championships final. So that form uh, certainly looks good on paper. She was hitting the line well on the poly track on the 4th of March uh, over the 1400. And now she... she um, just finds a, a more suitable race, I think, over the mile. She uh, gets in well with 57 kilos from barrier three. She'll just get a nice run, and James Orman should be able to get the best out of her. Okay, and uh, $4.40 right now is the price for Minji. And, of course, Rob's got uh, Prince of Boom lining up in that uh, cutest jewel race, and uh, he did report it's a good quality feel, but he said uh, we are extremely happy with the way Prince of Boom has come back up for this race. So race one, number two, and race two, number six. They're the two for Ipswich today on an eight-race card. Thanks for your time, Nick.
No worries, Andrew. Thanks, Dave. Have a good weekend, good everyone. On. Yeah, we will. Uh, Nick Lloyd looking at Ipswich Racing. By the way, uh, we've got two meetings in Victoria today. Uh, Kiton this afternoon at Bet365. A uh, little bit of drizzle around this morning. It's a soft five at, at this stage. Eight race card. We spoke earlier this morning with trainer George Osborne, who's got uh, three runners there. And an interesting one, a story to tell on Magnalicious in race two, currently at $7.50. You can go to our podcast page, Bensley, SEN Track, and give you the latest around uh, Magnalicious and his other hopes, uh, which included one in the last, Revhead, which is the favourite. Race eight, number two, currently at $3.40, as it stands for Kaizen. Uh Peter Ellis is joining us now. Good morning to you, Pete. Hello, Andrew. How are you? I'm well, and you're off to pack, and I'm on a Thursday night, and uh, it was actually interesting. It was a Thursday night a couple of weeks ago where we saw Nathan Dunn's horse, uh, Vez Me, who's uh, the favourite to win the big country race on Saturday. So Packenham can throw it up. Yeah, no, no. I, I think a lot of the key trainers and uh, <coughs> key participants like to run their horses there, and they come out of the they come out of races well there because the track surface is so good. So. Uh, uh, so they're normally hitting in the right direction, and that horse would be very hard to beat based on that win at, uh, at Packham a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we've got eight races. Uh, we're going to race seven for your best for Greg Urell, and he doesn't mind training a winner on a Thursday night at Packham either. No, no, he sends a lot of horses over mm. there, and I'm hoping he can win the last two races, actually, with Ugano and, uh, and Prowling. Yeah, Ugano's had the four runs back, been beaten in a photo of his last three. The most recent was at Packenham, and the horse that beat it there has ranked that form winning last week. If the track remains a soft ride, they're tipping one or two mil of rain for the day, but if it's in that soft ride range, it's not an issue. This horse is, uh, is one on a seven, so there's probably a plus more than a minus. So that was my best. Race seven, number two, you going to Currently $2.60, second pick behind Savvy Sovereign as it stands right now at Bet365. So race seven, number two. Uh, legs of the Quaddy, Pete. So back to race five. Uh, True Grit's the favourite, number six at 2.30. Three Emperor of France at 3.60. And accused number two is at 4.40. Yeah, the three-year-olds the whole sway here, including True Grit, uh, trained on the track by John Sailors. Had the three runs, went 1,214. Place to know. So out to the mile last start uh, was a good tough win there at Packham. So I'm happy to go with uh, with him. Emperor, Emperor of France uh, first up here. One on debut at Kilmore. Just sat handy there. It was a solid win. It's trialled okay uh, heading towards this. And accused uh, winner in uh, in New Zealand. Had one run likely. Was over 1200 at uh, Ballarat. Uh, sat out the back work came nicely. So it'll be certainly improved for that. And the longer trip will suit. Uh, six, three, and two. Uh, the second leg, Kapalua Sunset here for Danny O'Brien. A dollar ninety right now, drawn a little bit tricky. Arctic Stone is at five dollars, and Nana Jean number five is at five dollars. Uh, mostly sunny there. Number nine is at eight dollars. But Kapalua, a dollar ninety, Pete. Yeah, she's a the wide gates are not not a concern really, Andrew. She's a back marker, whereas the, the second favourite Arctic Stone's a leader. Uh, big rap on this filly. She debuted at Geelong with a good effort there, went place and went to Kite and, and just walked in. Started five to four in the group three at Caulfield, the ethereal, and just lost the position at the critical stage and probably had enough when she went round in the wakeful. So Danny O'Brien's another trainer who loves sending his horses to uh, to pack them. So I'm with her. Artic Stone was just kept uh, just kept improving. Got out to the mile at Mowie last start and... Uh, and won easily. Uh, has been to Packenham before. Was a really good effort at the second run back in March of last year. And then a June's fitter for those couple of runs from a break. Uh, contested to the end. Edward Manipal, the group two, at only a second start. So she's obviously uh, held in high regard by the bus at Young Camp. Um, two, four and five. Two, four and five. So you do like Huguenot here in race seven, currently at 260. Savvy Sovereign, 250. Make mine Hennessy number seven is at six fifty. Unfair dismissal number one, Pete, at seven dollars. Yeah, I'm with uh, Savvy Sovereign as a danger, Andrew. Uh, it's had the two runs back. Just went too keen at Sandown uh, when resuming in last start at Hamilton, beating the whisker there with a with a big weight. So that should uh, top him off for this. An unfair dismissal. Got solid metro form, really well graded here. So expected to run well. Two, three, and one. 
And the last race, well, you mentioned earlier with prowling for Greg Urell, Jamie Mott, $2.70 at the moment, number six. Predetermined number four is at four eighty. Corkscrew number five at five dollars. Uh, All Stardom gets a mention at seven, and Air Clash number seven eight dollars fifty. Yes, compared to the race, Andrew, and with prowling, uh, it's been in the money four or six. Uh, been placed three times in the Metro, and the other occasion flew home, went fourth at the Valley over the twelve hundred. Two runs back have been very good. Both Metro sixty uh, fours, one at uh, Hillside and one at uh, Mooney Valley. So. It's just good enough for this. I thought um, all stardom, probably the danger. Just uh, forget the last run. Previous two runs were really good. So he's an on pacer and take a bit of catching. And predetermined had no luck this prep. So certainly worth including. I was six, one and four. So the best is race seven, number two, Peter's Quaddy for Pakenham. Race five, six, three, two. Race six, two, four, five. Race seven, two, three, one, and race eight, it's six, one, and four. And don't forget tomorrow, uh, Peter's, uh, all the tips will be on his Twitter page. Uh, you can follow him on Peter Alice Racing and, of course, PeterAliceRacing.com on the internet. And we'll be talking about 10 to 10 on Saturday morning, Eastern uh, Daylight Time, Peter, about a terrific day coming up at Flemington. Yeah, we got the All Star Mile, of course, the slipper in Sydney, Andrew. So there's a. Uh... There's plenty happening and there will be for the next, uh, what, five, six weeks in Sydney with the three days of the championships and another couple of weeks at Rose Hill. So plenty to look forward to. Yeah, we've got Mornington and Bendigo. Their big meetings coming up uh, on Saturdays following this week. Good on you, people. We'll talk to you uh, Saturday morning. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. All the best. Peter Ellis looking at Pakenham. Eight races tonight. New Zealand thoroughbred racing uh, begins uh, mid-afternoon at Ashburton. Uh, so we're going to... I'll give you a couple of good things here from loveracing.nz. Uh, race six, number three, yeah, right. It's at $4.80 at the moment. Bet three, six, five. Race six, number three. And then in the next race seven, uh, number five, he's ready for the Pittmans, $3.80. So the two best for Ashburton gallops this afternoon, race six, number three, and race seven, number five. You can check out more at loveracing.nz. Back in a moment to look at some chasing and pacing. Live around Australia on SEN Track, you're listening to Bensley. Yes, the early crow on this Thursday, looking at today's uh, greyhound action now, starting with the watchdog this morning. He said, hey, give me more time. I've got a bag full of winners here. Morning, watchdog. Morning, Andrew. How are we? I'm well. Uh, and Shepparton, we've got Warrigal, we've got Warrnambool, and I love a Thursday night at Sandown, particularly if the wife goes out and I can sneer the TV out the uh, the back room. Ten races there tonight. So let's look at it. Shepparton's the early meeting beginning in less than an hour. Yeah, and we're going to go straight to race nine there, number four, Roxy Diva. Uh, this train here, she's dropping considerably in class today. She's normally very reliable early. And, um, yeah, if she can reproduce her 22.78 run from Geelong three runs back, I think she'll account for these pretty easily. There's a little bit of speed on uh, on her outside, but the three should give her that nice card across. And if she finds the top early, they'll have a hard time moving her in. So that's a good confidence. I love it when you go bang with your first tip, and uh, you've <laughs> done that with Roxy. Roxy Diva, race nine, number four. Uh, early Thursday afternoon, is it Warrigal? Yeah, Warrigal's always a tough card on a Thursday, but we found one in race eight. It's a bit skinny, so we're going to probably anchor it in the quaddy, throw it in all your multis. That's race eight, number one, Black Light Burn. Uh, this grain here, one that's made in at Warrigal in 22.65. That was five runs back. Since then, it's risen in class. Hasn't had a lot of luck, but I think from the red draw today, there should be no excuses. There's not a lot of speed in the race. The eights are uh, probably going to settle outside it, but it, it uh, tends to get pretty weak in the run home. So if the red does everything right at box rise, it'll put itself in the race and should be winning. Dollar seventy skinny, so just anchor it in the quaddies and, and put in your multis. Then we go to Warrnambool uh, for the card there down in the Western Districts. 12 races uh, tonight. Yeah, Warrnambool, um, we're going to race five there. Number two, Aston Zulu. This grand here's been looking for the, the staying journey. He's done most of his racing over the 500 and 595 of late. Um, he's turning to that dower type. So I think the red should give him a nice little run through. Uh, he'll take over mid-race. And I think he'll hit the line well enough to, to score tonight. He, He's going to need a couple more runs to get fit over this distance range, but he's got plenty of ability, and I just think he looks really well graded in this race. So at the 2.30, he looks a decent bet. And then, as I say, we've got Sandown uh, with a big night, 10 races. Uh, where do we go? Mid Midway through? 
Yeah, we're going to go to race seven here. Uh, number five, Osprey Rose. She's around the 230 mark, and I think that's a it's a really good price because she's been racing in much stronger company late. She's been uh, her last two have been over the 595 metres, which hasn't suited. Drops back to the 515. The four's got brilliant early speed. We'll move to the left. She'll get that card across, and I think she'll break them up in the middle stages. So if she does everything right in the first 50 metres, she'll prove too classy for this lot. So running through them, Shepparton, the early meeting, race nine, number four. Warrigal, it's race eight, number one. Warrnambool, race five, number two. And Sandown, race seven, number five. Your quaddy numbers at Sandown, I'll go through. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit if you want to play full percentage, but that's the good thing. You can cut down your percentage. Exactly. Take it for uh, a flexi, and uh, at least you get, you've got a few chances. It'll go on wide, and it might pay pretty well tonight. So the numbers in race five, five, one, three, and eight. Race six, five, one, seven, six, and three. The third leg solo number five, and uh, the last eight, two, one, and five. You can get more detail by downloading the Watchdog app and getting all your fancies for any of these programs. Good on you, mate. We'll talk to you Saturday morning. No, Andrew, look forward to it. You have a great day. Good on you. Uh, the Watchdog there with Victorian Greyhounds. Now, Cambridge Greyhounds are uh, underway. We're going to look at the afternoon meeting. Uh, Cannington in New Zealand from Greyhound Racing NZ. Uh, they like race four, number four, not so simple. Second pick at the moment at $4.20 at bet 365. That's race four, number four. And then across to race 12, number two, Gold Star Gigi at $2.50. So uh, 4 4 and 12 2 are the best for Addington. The Greyhounds there this afternoon. And uh, we've got, uh, as I say, already underway Cambridge Greyhounds. Uh, Simon Orchard is joining us from thedogs.com.au. Morning to you, Simon. Morning, Ben. How are you, mate? I'm good. Uh, you're just travelling around each day, mate. Where did you end up last night? <laughs> I ended up on the lounge, mate, just oh, sitting right. back, watching the, the mighty Pearl run around at Wentworth Park. Gee, she was good. Six on the bounce now, Ben. She gave him absolute spanking last night. Uh, 29.82, not at best, but still seven-length margin. And the dog in third place, Rita Donna, won a group one only four months ago. That's how good she's going at the moment. She's great to watch. Now she's heading full steam to the Golden Easter Egg, a million-dollar chase. So... That's, that was my Wednesday night. Yeah, nothing like it, though, uh, just sitting down and watching a good chaser like that one. All right, let's get some winners tonight or today. Uh, Casino is the first meeting through uh, beginning in about 90 minutes. Sure is, mate. 11 races starting just after midday today. Our best race six, number seven, confused. Only had the 10 career starts, uh, but does like the Casino 300. Two wins and three minors from seven runs at track and trip. Finds a restricted 1-2 win race today, Benz, and there's not a lot of depth to the race either. Most of these dogs he's up against have had 20-plus starts. They're the tried and tested material. Uh, he's a dog that's still got a bit of improvement left. He goes from box seven for the first time. That's probably the only real query, to be honest. He's jumped from boxes one, two, and three in all but one of his 10 runs to date. Uh, but his best time of 16 and 80, it's sharp. And Tranquil Riley, who jumps from box eight, is the only other dog to have broken 17 seconds for this track and trip. So race six... Number seven, Confused, our best at Casino today. Right now, $3.20 uh, at Bet365. Then we go to Gunnedah in the afternoon. We sure do. Twilight Racing from 2.54 p.m., 12 races out of Gunnedah today. Uh, comes up in the in the lucky last, race 12, number two, Lagoon Natal. Uh, dog's been freshened after a luckless effort here on February 24. Finished down the track. But before that, we're starting to show something. 11 starts at the Gunnedah 340 for two wins and five minors. Only three dogs in this race have cracked 20 seconds, Ben, for the trip. Uh, he's one of them, obviously. He's currently $4.20, I think, or he was this morning. We just think that's overs, considering his main two rivals, Gag and Eve and Patient Rooster, are drawn in box seven and eight, respectively. Lagoon Nadal will jump from two. So we're hoping can jump well, or at least on turns. Just needs to hold his position down that back straight at Gunnedah to have a good run into the turn. And from there, be hard to beat. Race 12, number two, Laguna Dal, our best at Gunnedah. Yeah, $4.40 right now as we speak live uh, through Bet365. Uh, then Dapto tonight. Dapto tonight. I'll be down there on track as always. Loving heading down to Dapto and sharing stories from uh, some of the some of the great people of the world down here in Wollongong. Ben's 10 races at Dapto from 7, 10 p.m. Uh, race 7, number two, Miss Wanted is our best. It's a decent field. There's a few dogs who missed out on the Country Classic final 
engaged in this one. Tiger Jack jumps from box six. He ran a good fourth in a semi of that series behind Fantastic Raven. Corborn Turvey was in the Aston Ulysses and Jarek Bale semi-final, and that form is red hot. But from box two, and with speed to burn early on, we're siding with Miss Wanted. She loves that, though. She loves leading. She's due to break through in one of these races. Her last three 600s at Dapto have seen one win and two runner-up checks behind Coast Model and the dog we mentioned before, Aston Ulysses. Tonight could be the night. I spoke to the Mulrines yesterday and they said they're going to have to run pretty well to beat her. So race seven, number two. I don't think she's favourite at the moment, so there should be a little bit of meat on the bone, maybe 250 if you're lucky um, tonight at Dapto. If you want to play the quaddy, race five or the first leg, two, five and seven. Second leg, one and four. Third leg, two and six. And we'll bring it home with two, six, or eight at Dapto tonight for the Quaddy Bends. Can't wait to get down there. Yep. Uh, you'll be there, and it'll be all on Facebook, uh, of course. Your coverage, $2.70 right now is the price there for the best to race seven, number two. So Casino at 6.7, Ganada 12.2, Dapto 7.2. Lots more information at thedogs.com.au. Thanks for your time, Simon. We'll uh, do it again on Saturday morning. On your band, Turu. Angle Park, uh, that's Simon Orchard, yes. Uh, Angle Park Greyhounds, Sean Matheson from Greyhound Racing SA. Uh, He's got uh, some fancies for Angle Park. Race nine, number one, Seabon Panther. uh, Currently, let me just get this right. He always throws something up that's not quite right. There it is. It's race 10, number one, currently at $2.90. He texts them through. uh, And I always wonder... You know how you get texts at 2 o'clock in the morning and you think, are they awake or are they just that's been delayed? Well, Sean's a bit like that. I'll have to get him on air one day and ask him, does he sleep? Uh, but race 10, number one, Seabon Panther, $2.90 is his best. And we're going back to race number eight, number four, Clearview. It's at $26.380 the place. That's his each way tonight. So it's 10 1 and 8 60 each way for Angle Park Greyhounds tonight. Uh, Matt Reed's joining us from tazracing.com.au. Morning to you, Matt. Morning, Andrew. How are you? I'm well. Do you, are you one that sleeps or like, do you go to bed at a normal time? Well, I, I try, but I've got a nine month old and it's a bit of a lottery as to what he'll do as to whether we sleep. We're having a week <laughs> where we're not getting a heap of sleep, to be honest. So I've seen a fair, fair bit of the test match in Pakistan oh, late into the night. Geez, what about the look of that wicket? Anyway, uh, let's look at uh, Hobart tonight, for Greyhounds from the 10 races. Uh, what have you found for us? A man, Brennan Ryan, he's got three specials for us and he's looked after us. He's spaced them out. He's starting in the first race with number three, Black Brush Scott, a grade six event. Uh, this dog's got one win to its credit, six minor placings. Hasn't raced since the 22nd of February, but did have a spin around Launceston in the Breeders' Qualifying Trials and non-TA beating meet, non-TAB meeting there last Friday. So uh, box to win, race one, number three, Black Brush Scott. $1.85 at Bet365. Yep, the next one. Uh, we go to race five, the Cascade Draft Maiden Series. There's heaps of that program uh, there in Hobart tonight. Uh, Brennan's with race five at number eight, uh, watching above for the powerful Blake Purcell kennel. Uh, rarely a Hobart meeting passes where Blake doesn't train a winner. And in the Cascade Draft Maiden Series, Brennan thinks eight watching above will get the job done. Currently, uh, its price there is $2.40 and clear favourite. And the last of Brennan's trio. The Invitation Race, which is race seven, a really good race and the, the best grade race on that program. He's sticking with Blake Purcell again and the Pink Box again. Eight Green Machine is Brennan's on top selection. Finished third in Hobart on the 3rd of March, but was a winner at the track when sent out firmly in the market there at 362 starts to go. Really Runs really well in Hobart, uh, 11 placings from 18 starts at the track and distance, which includes five wins. And, and Brennan thinks tonight can we win number six around Hobart at the distance. So that's race seven, number eight, Green Machine. $2.60. So they're the three standouts. You can get more by going to tazracing.com.au for Hobart Greyhounds tonight. Thanks for your time, Matt. We'll do it again on Thanks. the weekend. We will. Thanks, Andrew. Bye. Matt Reid there from Taz Racing. Harness Racing we go now for some chasing this afternoon in New South Wales. We're at Tamworth. 
Uh, Harness Racing New South Wales I form like race eight number two Mike Orr currently at two dollars thirty. That's race eight number two, and then go back to race two number five Western Ricky at two dollars seventy. So it's eight two and two five for Tamworth uh, for the program at Penrith. Let's just see if we've got some Penrith tips. I don't know whether they've uh, come into the system, the old Penrith. Uh, let me just delve into this a little bit uh, closer for you. No, oh, here they are. Yes, I've got them. Uh, race one, number six, is the first of those. Uh, Jala Neal, currently at $1.60. That's race one, number six. And then go across to race four, number one, flying circles at $5. So one, six, and four, one are the Penrith fancies for tonight's program and Ballarat you'll be able to watch the pacing eight races on trotsvision.com.au Rob Alba's calling it at this stage he gives us race six number nine where's Ziggy currently at four dollars twenty and a dollar seventy five the place so that's the best each way for Rob race six number nine and don't forget if you miss any of the early crow the daily tipping sheet it appears on SEN underscore track on social media Twitter uh, stand by. It gives you all the outline. You can print it off and follow it as the day goes on. SEN underscore track.